All right, let's go over problem number four. So in this data, we have the monthly precipitation for a full year in inches of rain. So A says to find the range of the data. Remember, range is big minus little. So the biggest number is 9.89 minus smallest number is 1.49. And if we do that, we get a range of 8.4 inches. So that's part A. Part B says find the median in the first and third quartiles. Now notice down below I have my numbers from the least at top to the greatest at bottom. I wrote them up and down. And there's 12 numbers here. That means 12 can, if I split it in half, there'll be 6 above and 6 below. That also means my median has to be between 1.93 and 3.56. So to find that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up 1.93 plus 3.56. And then I'm going to divide that by 2. So they add up to 5.49. And if I divide that by 2, I get 2.745. So my median is 2.745. Put inches. Now my first and third quartile. So my first quartile has got to be the middle of these six numbers. And that means it's got to be in between 1.72 and 1.89. So to find that, I'm going to add 1.72 plus 1.89 and divide by 2. So they add up to 361, or I'm sorry, 3.61, and divide that by 2, and I get 1.805. So Q1 equals 1.805. Now Q3, I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. Let me switch to blue. So I have six numbers here. And in between, the middle is going to be in between 7.34 and 8.23. So I'm going to add those and divide by 2. And they add up to 15.57. And if I divide that by 2, I get 7.785. So Q3 is 7.785. Now for part C, it says find the interquartile range. So remember that interquartile range, I have to subtract Q3 minus Q1. So 7.785 minus 1.805. And if I do that, I get 5.98 for my interquartile range. So that's the IQR. Now the last step are find any outliers. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to clear away these numbers here because I don't need those anymore. So remember the steps to finding outliers. Now when we find an outlier, there we go, switch to purple here. Um, the first thing I have to do is find the interquartile range, which I did in part C. So the IQR is 5.98. The second thing I need is to get my boundary number. So I'm going to take that 5.98 and multiply it by 1.5. And that gets me 8.97. So that's my boundary number. I'll put BN for boundary number. Now in the third step, I'm going to set my boundaries. Remember, to get my low boundary, I take Q1, which is 1.805, and I subtract 8.97, my boundary number and I get 7.165. I'm sorry, negative 7.165. Okay, now to get my upper boundary, I take Q3, which is 7.785, and I add my boundary number 8.97. And that gets me 16.7755. That's my upper boundary. So now I'm going to go up and I'm going to draw my house, or I guess I'll have to do it sideways on here since I, it's going to be a sideways house since I wrote my numbers up and down. Now my lower boundary, remember here, is a negative number. So that means there's no outlier below 1.49. My upper boundary is 16.755, which would be way down here. So if I draw my house, it's going to be a sideways house. 
you'll notice there are no numbers outside of my house. So for D, we did all that work to find out that there are no outliers. All right, that's it for problem four. Thanks for watching, guys.